big world out there we can reach and we can. And this world will get there if we know how we can. Read, write, listen, speak, you can learn and understand. In Karen's world you can, if you know. medicinal plants. Oh, good morning. Oh, Otep, do you need help with your shoelaces? No, thank you. Okay, uh, come but, on. Oh, uh, goodbye. Oh, oh tinapay, uh, tinapay. Tinapay, tinapay. Tinapay, lahat. Uh, but... Tinapay. But I want tinapay. Hi kids! Hi! It is a nice day to fly a kite, right? Hey! Hello! Would you like to join me? Oh, oh! Hello, Jack Jack! Thank you, but we're in here. Oh, Ali Chering, what is the matter? Oh, oh, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, please do not run away. Everybody has been avoiding me. Do you know why? Ingo told us that you have potent out disease. He read it from our local newspaper. He told you what? I do not have foot and mouth disease. What is that in Why? <laughs> Your mouth and feet look fine to me. Yes. You do not look sick. Karen! Because Karen, I Karen, 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 Karen! Oh, Karen. What? <laughs> Did you read? Huh? You are in the papers. Huh? I have a copy of the news article about you. Have you read it? Yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah. Ingo, have you been spreading news about me? Of course. I have been telling everyone about you. It is not a joke. A joke? I am serious. I am proud of you. Uh, proud? How can you be proud? I do not have it. Yes, you do have it. Why are you insisting? I do not have it! Because it is true! You have it! I am proud of you! You have genuine concern for others! That is not what I am trying to say! I heard that you have been telling people that I have foot and mouth disease! Everybody has been avoiding me! You told them that I have FMD! I did not! I only told them what I read in the newspapers. Tell me exactly what you told them. Hmm. Well, I simply told them um, that the news item said foot and mouth disease is a contagious disease. Um, it affects goats, pigs, and carabaos. Um, there is an eruption of blisters and redness in the mouth and feet and that you were the first to have your mouth and feet checked and that you were uh, very worried and um, you were going to organize an information campaign to prevent the spread of FMD. I told you the way he retold the news yesterday made us think that you have FMD. No, <laughs> I told the story as I remembered it. Hmm. Well, everything you said is true, but there are some things missing. What are missing? Ingo, please read the news item. All right. <clears throat> Farmers and livestock racers of Barrio San Guillermo face a big problem today. Foot and mouth disease, or FMD. It is a contagious disease that affects pigs goats, cows, and carabaos. Redness and blisters appear in the mouth and feet. Vaccines have failed to control the disease. People are not affected by FMD. Karen, a concerned carabao of Barangay Mapagkawanggawa, suggested that pigs, 
goats, cows, and carabaos be examined to prevent the spread of the disease. She had her mouth and feet examined by the municipal veterinarian. The doctor assured her that she did not have the disease. Karen also promised to start an information campaign to inform people about FMD. There you go, Ingo. You left out the complete details of the story. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I told them everything I know about the news. At least, everything I could remember. But Ingo, you forgot to tell us where foot and mouth disease was spreading. You did not tell them that Sitio San Guillermo was affected. Mm -hmm. We all thought that the disease was spreading in our barangay. You forgot to tell them who can catch the disease. Only pigs, cows, goats, and carabaos. People cannot catch FMD. Everybody was avoiding me because they were afraid they might catch the disease from me. We all thought you were worried because you had redness and blisters on your feet. You forgot to tell them why I was worried because... The livelihood of many people will be affected. Most of all, you left out one important detail. What the doctor told me. That I do not have foot and mouth disease. Oh. Oh, I'm really very sorry. I only wanted to tell our neighbors what the newspaper said. But Ingo, when you leave out important details of the story, you give the story a different meaning. Everybody thought that I had FMD. You have to be careful of what you tell people. I'm sorry, Karen. I, I did not mean to spread a story that was not true. Ingo, when you retell a story, you have to take note of the important details. You have to remember the five W's and one H. Who, what, where, when, why, and the how of the story. I am sorry. I did not give the full details, especially the important ones. I did not mention where the disease was spreading, who were getting sick, why you were worried, and what the doctor had told you. Without those details, the story I told sounded as if you had the disease. I am sorry, Karen. That's okay. I must tell the neighbors that I made a mistake. Hey, my, Melty, I am sorry. I made a mistake. A mistake? Remember the story I told you about Karen? I got too excited. I forgot to mention some of the important details. That made you think Karen has FMD. She does not have FMD. Then why was Karen worried? You said the news item said something about the blisters and redness on her feet. No, Karen was worried about the livelihood of the people in our barangay. Then what's wrong with Karen? Nothing. The doctor said she did not have the disease. Where did you say the FMD outbreak was reported? Who got FMD? Well, the cases reported were all from Sitio San Guillermo. Oh. That is not so far from here. Mm -hmm. But people cannot get FMD. Goats, cows, and carabaos can. That is why Karen suggested that all livestock be examined. That is a big problem. Everybody knows the story about Karen having FMD. Naging usap-usapan na nga yan. Everybody was afraid that the disease uh, would spread among animals and people. Kuya Victor plans to sell his goats at a very low price. He is worried that even if his goats were not infected, people will be afraid to buy them. Well, what I can do is to go to them one by one and tell the complete story. What do you think? Or maybe buy some more of the newspaper and give it to them. Magastos yata yun. And it will also take a lot of time and effort to go around town. Pagtulungan na lang natin ang pagtuwid ng kwento sa mga tao. Tama. Ikaw kasi, Ingo. Next time, be sure to give the complete details of the story when you retell it. Ayan tuloy. O sige. I will tell everybody who comes to my store the real story about Karen. Thank you, Mang Tuling.
Ang go. I have been looking for you. Where have you been? Why? What have I done to you this time? Oh, you did not do anything wrong. I want to thank you for inviting all these people to this community meeting. Almost everybody is here. Mm. <laughs> well, it is my way of making up for my mistake. I hope you forgive me. Oh, you are forgiven, Ingo. <laughs> I think we should start the meeting already. Mm. Quiet down, everybody. Mm. Karen requested this meeting so we can talk about foot and mouth disease. As everyone knows, there was an outbreak of FMD in Sitio San Guillermo, and that is not very far from here. Karen will help us find ways to prevent the outbreak in our barangay. But, Captain, before anything else, may I say something? Yes? Um, Karen, we are very, very sorry. We really thought you had the disease. Oh, it is all right. Huh? I understand. We are all here to help you with the information campaign. I suggest that we also discuss how we can extend our help to Barrio San Guillermo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need all the help that we can get. Very well then. I think we will have a very effective information campaign. Everybody wants to help out, right? Uh, <clears throat> did you know that there is an outbreak of mad cow disease? 